afternoon folks welcome back thanks for joining me again okay something a little bit different today so um i've had a bit of time on my hands with the hot weather and uh there's a cancellation there's a postponements etc and i've been topping up the boxes ready for my mexico trip in january and i've been doing a little a few little bonefish patterns and permit patterns etc and uh, i was just doing some little shrimp 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 mantis shrimp whatever you want to call them uh patterns and i came across this uh uh, I've come up with this little pattern here that uh, I've tied up using um, some of this um, root beer 15 mil fritz and I think it looks absolutely fantastic it's a little mantis shrimp, pat shrimp pattern basically and it's going to work lovely for the bones and for the permit um, so let's have a little play around and I'll show you how I tie it something a bit different okay hook in the vice this is a Mustard, uh, 34007, uh, size 4. It's a fairly standard uh, saltwater uh, hook. Uh, I don't pay big money for my saltwater hooks. Uh, this is nice and strong. This won't let you down. Um, a very reasonable price. The thread is a uh, tan, a texturing tan. Um, just nice and tough, a 3.0 that one, so it's, it's quite a robust thread. And everything for uh, saltwater fly fishing is that little bit more, more robust when you tie them up. So, uh, right, well, let's get that started, let's get that tied on. Uh, folks, thanks for watching as always. Um, if you enjoy these videos, please click like and click subscribe. Any suggestions in the comments box, please. Okay, first thing we're going to put some eyes on here, so we're going to put some little... You can do all sorts of different weights of eyes on these, whatever you want, however fast you want them to sink. I'm just going to use these small brass eyes tied in, not quite right up to the eye of the hook. Just leave yourself a little bit of space there. And then plenty of overhand wraps, okay, plenty of figure of eight wraps in there. As I say, you really want to get all this bedded down because these do come under a lot of stress, these flies, you know, and they're sort of the environment you're using them in and the fish that are taking them. Um, so we'll have teeth and uh, they're not particularly kind let's bring that thread all the way down the hook just to create a base and then back up again so this little mantis shrimp this little spawning mantis shrimp pattern if you want to call it that um, we're going to put a little bit of orange in there in the mouth parts okay and for that i'm going to use a little bit of dyed rabbit okay i'm just going to take a pinch of dyed rabbit and that look lovely in the water. I've just pinched that off. And I don't want it to come out massively over the back of the hook. It's going to come out to about there, over the back of the hook, okay? So I'm going to cut that down, trim that down, lay that on the hook, and tie that in all the way down. And that'll just pinch out the back there and give you that little bit of colour at the back there. In fact, we might just cinch that down a little bit, pinch that down a little bit so it's not too long that's better that looks lovely and it just sort of acts as the mouth parts you know a little trigger a little target in there i'm going to put uh, some antennae on this as well so put some feelers on this so using uh, a little bit of flashaboo uh pick your color black or brown or this is a very dark copper that i like for this i think it looks right i'm just going to take one length of this um flashaboo and I'll take the ends so they're matching up and then I'm going to tie it in the top of the hook, letting it overextend over the end there. I can always trim this down as I want, but I want this to be about two times the length of the hook itself. Okay, it's about the length of the feelers that I want on there, the antenna I want on there. And I'm just going to tie this in again and just bind this all the way down. Just trying to separate the feelers as I go down. So I want them to kind of come out one side and the other. And also I want them to push down on the hook. So we're going to turn this over in a minute to tie the rest of the fly. So just get those in position there. I'm quite happy with that. And then just follow that all the way down. There we go. Right to the bottom there. And they're just going to sit off the bottom of the hook there. And just trim off the excess here. And there we are. Quick bed of thread backwards and forwards. Just to make sure everything's nice and solid. And then we're also going to put a little bit of glue in there. A little bit of uh, varnish on there as well. Just to toughen everything up. As I say, these, these flies come in under a quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of punishment so a little bit of varnish on there right in between the eyes just turn it over Lovely. again on that side a little bit of varnish and there we go okay then we're going to start building 
and fly. And what we'll do is we'll actually turn this over in the advice for you because then it'll be it'll still be nice and level them. Turn that over in the vice. Just like that. Okay. Now we've got our first set of uh, legs on here. Just using silly legs. Um, I'm going to put a light orange one in first. Just wrap that back over the hook. Like that. Coming over the top. Split it to one either side of your hook, okay, and just wrap down on it. Take it all the way down to the back there, just wrapping down one leg either side there. Lovely, brilliant. Okay, and just bring it up again just to tidy up. Again, we're going to trim all this down as uh, as we get through the fly. Um, that body material, I just looked at this and I thought, you know what, that's perfect for a variation. I like to tie these up in different colours, different variations of body, some light, some dark. And this stuff just looked right. This is the Up Avon um, UV root beer. And it's just got a nice bit of colour to it. It's got a little bit of UV running through it. It's just, you know, it looks right when you tie it and it looks sort of shrimpy. So what we want to do is just catch that in at the back here. And so just a couple of turns to lock that on. Like that, and then we're going to take a couple of wraps, one nice big wrap all the way around like that at the base of the hook, and then again catch it in like so. Okay, so that's caught in there just with one wrap, and we'll pop that up there out of the way, making sure everything's still in place. It all looks good. It all looks everything looks like where it should be. Um, here we go. Now in with the eyes. I've uh, got a couple of eyes there, all ready to go. I'm just going to bring those up, cut them a little bit shorter. And then offer them up to the hook, and I'll do one side at a time. I want them just to come over the back of that, over the back of this mouth material, you want to call it that. just want to be a level with the back of that. So the first one in, and just a couple of light turns over the top, make sure it's on the side of the hook. A bit splayed out, lovely, and second one, same thing on this side. Just bring that in and just on the side of the hook. Nice couple of light turns and then you can really bind it down. Bring it up just so it locks in either side of the hook there. And that looks perfect. And then just trim this excess off here. Like that. And then we're going to put another set of legs in here. We get another set of silly legs in here. So it's just a set of barred ones this time, the little black and white barred ones, just to give it a bit of variety. Everybody has their favourites. I think it's more of a movement than anything else that attracts these fish. And again, just lock in and bring them down either side. Just making sure they're nice and spread out either side. So you sit either side of the fly. That's lovely. And bring that thread all the way through. Right. There we go, bring the thread back up again. Have a little dab of varnish in there. Just to, it'll all help, it'll bind it together. And then we're going to come back with our root beer and we're going to put a couple of turns in. Just pushing everything backwards as we go. Again, just catch that in, there's two turns there, just catch that in and lock it down. I'm going to come in with another set of legs, same colour again, black and white barred ones. Take your legs, bring them up to the hook, catch them in, and then splay them out either side. I'm told these flies fish very well for permit and for bones. Where we're heading to in Ascension Bay. I just like tying these patterns, if I'm honest. There's, there's so much fun to tie. That's them locked in. Bring your thread all the way up to the eye. And then we're just going to continue this up, making sure we can't caught anything in it. 
all the way up. So nice catching turns. Pack on plenty of material on this. Nice tight turns all the way down. Just wet it, bring it back. Lovely. And then just lock it in now. Bring that thread forward and just finish off in front of the eye. Finish. This is going to have tons of movement and it will sink nicely, especially when this, this root bed gets wet and it will sink down nice and nice. Very nicely. Now all we're going to do now is just, just have a, I'm happy with all that's all that's laying, that's lovely, it's looking good. So we're just going to trim these antennae down, I think, well actually the first thing we'll do is we'll just trim the body down. So just going to get the scissors and come in and just take some of this off and just start to shape it a little bit. Being careful not to cut your legs off. Just pull the legs forward as you're doing it. Just to give it a bit of a slimmer profile, just to slim it down a little bit. Give it a nice even shape, nice compact body then. See how that's starting to take shape. Looking good. Looking good. Lovely. Good, nice compact shape. Right, let's turn this back around the right way in the vise. So there we are. And we're gonna just bring these legs forward. And we're just gonna trim these down slightly i want the legs to be shorter than the antenna so where the antenna will come out here i'm going to bring these legs down and just back to again about one and a half times the length of the hook is fine just bring them down like that and just just tidy that up lovely a little bit of varnish on the head there just to finish with you can use uv whatever you want Maneuver those legs around a little bit so they're nice and even. Yeah, that's pretty good to me. Have a drop of varnish in there. That's so, it. There we go. A little, little mantis shrimp pattern, and that's what the fish are going to see. They're going to see it from that angle there. You can see that pulsing and pulling away. Look at that lovely little. Little mentor shrimp pattern, perfect for the flats, perfect for the bones, in bigger sizes for the permit, a bit more weight in them as well. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to work. There's no way that's not going to work. It looks lovely. It's just a nice little easy tie shrimp pattern. Do you know what? That would probably work with things like bass and flounders and stuff in the UK as well. I'm sure any predatory fish would give that a good go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Something a bit different for you, just to you know, have a play around. Um, if you enjoy the video, click like, click subscribe, and uh, I hope to see you all again soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.